So as you can see, I've already unwrapped uh, the arm and the other hand. So we're going to go ahead and do the legs now. So go ahead and put the unwrap on. And just looking at it, um, two methods that come to mind will be first be the cylindrical and the pelt. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So we're going to go ahead and go into face mode and I'm going to start selecting some of his leg. And I'm going to turn this off. And, just and I think if I go select element, alright, so that's not going to work. Turn that off. Okay. So we'll just do it the long way. Alright, so I can see that's going to start becoming an issue, so I'll just zoom up and get right in there manually. Looking wireframe, just make sure that we're getting all of it. Okay, don't need that one. And it looks like I got, I got all of it. Just make sure. Yeah, looks like I got it. Alright, so we'll go ahead and try uh, cylindrical first. Let's see what kind of luck we can get with that. actually not that bad the only real problem area I see is up in here and that would be a pretty easy fix so I think that might work let's take a look see oh and we forgot to do that important thing cylindrical and here's the green line out here now for the leg uh, we want the green line to be on the inside the inside of his leg like the seam of his pants would be so do that 180 And let's see. Okay, so it's on this side. Let's go back to fit. And there I can see very clearly the green lines right there. And that's that's the right place. Alright, so let's scale this up again. Okay, it looks good to me. Okay, now, that does not look like something that is going to be fun to paint on. It really doesn't. Let's 
It still just doesn't look. I mean, I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Okay, that's his butt. Right there. Uh, that's going down. Okay, so I'd almost would say that something like that is probably closer uh, to what this is look gonna look like. That's his butt. It just it's it's really this really is kind of <laughs> hard to to see what we're what we're looking at. Even though the checkerboards don't look that bad and still relax. The checkerboards are they're looking pretty good. Pretty even. A little bit of stretching, but nothing major. Um, the biggest thing is, this is the kind of thing that we understand what we're looking at so we can paint on it. Um, okay, I can see. Okay, so there's my knee. I understand that. These are the wrinkles. That's his butt. That's where it's unfolding. Kind of makes sense. Uh, I might go with that. Okay, you can see we got some stretching right here because look how big this these polygons are and look how small the space is, especially this one, um, that they're getting. See, I just pull that down, give them guys a little bit more. This areas I could tell there was some major stretching going on. I think that might be okay. Probably wouldn't be a terrible idea to fix some of these guys right here and target weld fix some of this all right these polygons are just snapping apart it's obviously over there on that side Okay, so now let's see, let's see what that did. Uh, yeah, I can definitely see there's a seam right there. And it looks like this polygon is running off here. And I would rather this seam continue on down the leg. So what I'm gonna do is select these guys, select these, and break. Now you can see that these are separate. And let's target weld these back together. Okay. Now we have this polygon that actually belongs over here on this side. That one's there. That one's there. That one's there. That one's there. So now they they're fitting more along with the seam that we want. Okay. Now let's just see if we can Okay, let's 
looks pretty good. And then we have this side, which I think is about as good as we're going to get. Yeah. Okay, so the seam runs all the way up. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh, let's see, where are those? Okay, those are right there. So we have the seam that runs up the leg right there. And those run up. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, so we'll go with that. So there's the leg. Now let's do this boot. And the boot can be kind of tricky. And the biggest uh, question that we have to ask ourselves when it comes to uh, the boot is uh, what's the direction that we most uh, want to texture? For example, let me put our colors back on him. Okay, so looking at this boot, you know, what do I want to have, uh, do I want to texture, you know, this uh, part of the boot as a separate piece or do I want to do a seam down the middle? Um, to me, it looks like this might actually work out pretty good if we approach them and their pieces. So we'll say for example we take the whole toe and then we'll take this part of the foot and then we'll do the boot, uh, the top of the boot as a separate piece and uh, split it cylindrically probably run down this side. I think that'll that'll probably be the best approach. It all, all depends on the model, all depends on uh, what you envision yourself, uh, how you envision yourself ultimately texturing it. I think that will work out pretty good for us. So That's the direction that I'm going to go. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get Just gotta add and let's see. Pretty sure that's it. Yeah, it looks like it to me. Alright, so I'll just look at it straight on like this. I think pelt probably work. Uh, still, I'm gonna do an align to view since I'm looking at it pretty much the way I'd like to see it unwrap. Okay, and let's see. Stretch that up. I think that's pretty good. Let's move this over here. Scale it down. And I know I know that I'm gonna wanna adjust these a little bit. And that looks like it's unwrapped to me. It only question that I have is along uh, this part right here seems like I'm giving a lot of texture space to that area uh, first off let's 
go ahead and let's go ahead and do a relax on it. My face angles. There we go. See a little bit of stretching. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, the only thing I'm gonna do again is even though I relax it, I'm just gonna pull these guys so they're not overlapping. I'll just trust the way everything else is looking. You see it stretched there. So I'll just adjust that. And right here, it's like got something going on right there. Uh, let's see. do that corner right there I'll take both of these there we go okay that looks good to me so do our usual thing that's, that's a pretty good size too so okay and again I said I wanted to do uh, heel here so I'll grow one time to get the surrounding polygons and let's just pelt uh, align to view edit pelt I'm just going to simulate it straight away there's really not much to do just very few polygons so I'm not going to worry with it too much Looks good to me. If we wanted to we get the quick relax on it. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to do these guys. And let's see that one. Okay, so it's the whole bottom part of the boot. And I'm getting any of the the vertical and I'm going to unwrap it as if I was looking down on it like this pelt, I'm going to align to view you can see that my gizmo is kind of pointing the wrong way actually it's not bad right there and let's Rotate this a little bit, so a little more straight up and down, uh, like you can see there. And I think we can just go ahead and, yeah, just 
get right to it. Okay, so that's very huge. So let's scale that down. Move this over here with the boot. Let's see. As we can see, that's pretty straightforward. So, uh, relax. Not that I think it even needs it. But. So. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So, as you can tell, once you kind of start getting some of these pieces going uh, really starts just to roll together uh, after a while okay so now I will do this part of the boot I think I'm just going to do it all in one piece too Let's turn the ignore back facing off so I can just do this in one shot. There we go. Cylindrical fit. And then we will rotate it. Kind of go in the same direction this is. And then remember to adjust the green line. And we're going to hide the green line by putting it on the inside of his leg okay so about like that okay now let's see you can see the so we'll scale up just on the Z, get the square, and now scale the whole thing up. Okay, I'm going to undo that. That's actually more uniform all the way around. So let's take a look. Okay, so that's the whole boot. There's a boot over here, so. Now, do I understand what I'm looking at? Could I paint on this and understand what I'm seeing? Not me at the moment. So, let's take all this. Do a relax. Okay. Still not really getting what I'm looking at. But my checkerboard pattern is definitely pretty uniform my issues are these polygons that are split so I'm gonna target weld it's pretty obvious here which which ones need to go okay, this one just be here that one's there that one's there, that one's there, that one's there. Okay. So I can see here we have a poly bunch of vertices that are uh, hanging out by themselves, and here these guys are missing. So, come over here and break.
pull these away. Okay. Now we can put these back together. And I will now take these. That guy is there. Those go together. That one goes there. That one goes there. Okay, so they're all one piece and the seam is pretty uniform. Just run straight down like that. Okay, some of the issues I can tell are like right here. And I think that is let's see, I think that's Okay. Where are these vertices? Okay, that is those right there. Alright. So now now that these guys are in the right uh the right arrangement, I'll do the relax again. These guys right here just are not So those got fixed. Okay, so one of the things that I can see that I uh, understand is that this right here represents the top. And this section is obviously this piece and what might actually work I'll show you a trick that we can do um, might actually work out for us pretty well I'm gonna just straighten all these out and it's gonna be very quickly done with the scale tool. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to select on all these vertices, and then when I scale, oops, undo. So I will use this scale tool, this to scale vertically. Now I'll scale them down, and we see they all just come right in a line. And I can go to my edge, select edge loop. and do the same thing so click edge click edge loop scale it straight down so that just comes out even edge loop this one's gonna miss so I think I'll just do those And we gotta add these. So as you see, we can just very quickly straighten straighten this out. And our checkerboards are still pretty even. And if we wanted to, we then come in. I'm just going to do it with the vertices and then switch to the horizontal scale and we just scale these guys straight like that so this is a it's another technique that you can do especially for pieces like this they would just 
work out really well. last ones okay so again we'll take a look and see if we have any major discrepancies and the only one I do see are down here and but I mean <laughs> how much are we really going to see those the good thing is this would be very, really easy for us to paint on but yet we've got you know some stretching going on here it seems to me like other than this bottom Just looking to see what we could do to try and fix that and stretch. And I'm just not even sure if I'm even going to worry with it. But that's your call uh, if you want to. And I just wanted to, to take that time to show you uh, that technique, which I've uh, used in the past to do the legs or the arms or whatever, uh, just so it's really clear to me what I'm painting on. Again, these two, these top two polygons uh, represent the top lip, this wide area is the lip there and then this polygon is the under lip and then we have these bigger polygons here which represent the boot <laughs> uh, that's the rest of the boot so anyway I just wanted to show you that technique and it's been useful for me in the past yeah, that's pretty good. So I collapse that. Okay. The last piece of his leg is the sole of his foot, which will be very easy. Just select all of those and we just grow oh shrink shrink grow until we and we don't want to grow so far as we start seeing let me turn this off we start seeing it grabbing the faces that are hidden because then you're in a mess up uh, what's already been mapped so we just want to make sure we don't do that and I'll just look straight down on it pelt align to view it's facing the right way to me um, one of the things I can tell already is I think this is going to cross over itself. See how these are all the edges on this side are reaching across. They're not going out this way. See now yeah see that's better. See now these are going to pull out this way not reach across. Let's 
just take a look see all right we want really want to make sure that it's going to look right from here since we're going to see this part of it more than anything It's not working, so I'm going to undo. Okay, so looking at this, I can tell that where my issues are. Let's we'll actually try uh, relax by edge angles this time. Yeah, and that's not working either. So undo. I'll try one more from centers and that didn't do anything either so it looks to me like we might have to go in and do this by hand which really isn't going to be a major issue uh, let's see if I can find out where okay so there's there's these vertices so I can see that this vertice right here, which is this one, is a actually a relatively small polygon on the mesh, but look how much space it's getting. So I want to bring that in and bring that one in. I can see that from here to here, this represents the uh, whole side and that's probably one of the thicker areas so I could just kind of follow suit with the thickness of those guys all the way around pull these in like so and you can already see that it's looking better. So again, I know that this is the thickest part so so I'm just going to try to follow that those same guidelines all the way around not even going to really be concerned too much with how it's looking here just want to kind of follow the logic that I've kind of set out with how I understand things to be on the mesh. And I'll just follow follow that. take this guy and let's scale him down let's see how it's looking okay so I can see that we have some definite stretching here Okay, so I'll just come in here and make some adjustments.
which side is this side right here okay Alright, so I can see that this is uh, really going to be a lot of work, so it's making me think that we might need to try a different format here. So let's, I'm going to try another one. We're going to do a quick planner. Okay, and see it's pretty uniform. And we're going to do, go into our edit. this over okay and one of the things that I'm going to do with this okay so we see everything's pretty uniform top just the sides are not are not that great uh, and now I'm going to try mapping I'm going to go unfold and just hit OK and that well it made made everything make sense uh, the <laughs> all our checkerboards are nice and evenly spaced but I have no freaking clue what I'm looking at here no idea how I'm gonna paint this I mean, I don't even know. I don't know where to begin. I can see those. Some of it's making sense, but like here, no idea what that is. So I'm gonna undo. There's just no way I could paint on that, unless the only thing I was going for is a solid color on it then that would work all right so it's as far back as we can go so I want to do let's do a pelt on it again and that's actually looking pretty good right there let's see oh it's because it still looks like that Okay, so pelt, best align, edit pelt, mirror the stretcher. So what might end up happening here, if I can see how much of an issue this is giving me, what we might end up doing is actually breaking it in pieces because I'm still just not a big fan of the way this is looking right now and I'm getting tired of messing with it. That's awful. That's awful. Yeah, I'm just not happy with that. So, for the sake of sanity, I'm determined that what I'm going to do is select on all those top pieces, do a quick planner map. As we see, 
there is the outer ring which is perfectly scaled then I'm going to select these guys sense here because there's really no way for me to well I guess I could do a cylindrical and do a fit and just get that seam over here on the side like that scale this up guys which can be fixed with a quick planner map and done now I just gotta get them all size up so I mean as you can see that one that way is a little um, you know some shapes take a little bit of thinking uh, to figure out the best way to uh, to go about it you know how you're gonna actually work it out just put those in there for now separate dough. I'm just gonna scale these down to they're fitting about the same. Yeah, it looks like they're pretty much the same all the way around. So there is there's a boot. Again, this guy right here is the strap that goes all the way around. going to be this and there's that one now if we really wanted to we can uh, let's see break all of them and then start patching them together I probably would still want to keep the soul separate uh, let's see, like if I came, let's go detach edge vertices like that. Okay, so I can see that these, so I'm going to select this and just rotate it just like that. And the only re reason I would do this, I'm just showing you, um, is if I really wanted uh, to see the continuity in my texture uh, from the top to the to down here. Probably not going to be too concerned about from the side to the sole. Um, but you know, if I want to see nice wear marks or something going across here then this would be uh, the best way to go about uh, achieving that doing that planer from the top and then planer or the cylinder around the side and then we just start pulling in 
So take them, detach, add vertices. And then you can also do this. Uh, stitch selected. Okay, so I'm going to go tools, stitch selected. Whoop. And cancel. Okay. Tool stitch selected. So let's cancel and we'll do that the other way. Tool stitch selected. And we see it pulls that piece right in. See, pulled that whole piece in, so we have to make sure we break them. Tools. So D or Control D. So just hit D. Oh. Tool. My hotkeys aren't working for some reason. Then we go to Edge. Select up here. Tools. Stitch selected. Puts it right over there. as you can see flows right across and then we could always tighten these guys up like that so anyway that's what we could do uh, and I might do that, finish that out. Uh, go ahead and I'll do that on my own. Um, so anyway, that's kind of the, the concepts. Um, so that's the, the whole leg. Obviously, you just duplicate that for the other leg. And uh, that will leave us with uh, just the accessories. The belt, the little belt right here, the hooks, and then the last bit of his bandana and then he will be all good to go so the next video so I'm, I want you to go ahead and do this leg on your own and then the next video will wrap up these remaining pieces and then we will look at where we can go uh, what the next step is so see you next time